100 years ago this weekend, a decisive event helped shape the end of the First World War. Bulgaria, fighting alongside Germany, asked for a ceasefire, bringing to an end a conflict that had cost the lives of thousands of British soldiers. And a British woman, Flora Sandez, played a remarkable role in the campaign. Our special correspondent, Alan Little, reports from the so-called Forgotten Front. The gravestones have been maintained and repaired for a century now. Private John Fulton, 30 years old, died 100 years ago almost to the day. But few visit this place. Almost no one remembers why so many fought and died here. It is one of the forgotten fronts of the Great War. More than half a million Allied troops came to northern Greece to try to defend Serbia. But by the time they got here, the Bulgarians, allied with Germany, were digging in on these mountain tops to the north, with the British on the plain below laid out like a map beneath their feet, sitting targets. The British called this mountain top the Devil's Eye. Climb it today and you see why. Three times they tried and failed to push the Bulgarians off the mountain. From up here, the Bulgarians saw them coming. I think they thought they could take it, but uh, the reality was that, uh, no, they knew they were going to lose a lot of lives. This main 67th Brigade that came up here was basically annihilated, as well as the 66th Brigade on the left. The 7th South Wales borderers did make it up just to the, the hill below us here. Uh, the unit fought quite fiercely, and in fact, uh, the conditions here would have been horrendous. As a former soldier, I wouldn't want to have served here like that. This battlefront holds another remarkable and largely forgotten British story. Flora Sands from Yorkshire volunteered as a nurse, but was rejected by the British. So she went instead to Serbia to drive an ambulance. She then took up a rifle and enlisted as a private in the Serbian army. She was the only British woman in the First World War to serve in battle as a soldier. She's almost unknown in Britain, but in Serbia she's a decorated national heroine, celebrated into her old age. This is a woman who did a hundred years ago what women are only just now able to do, and she demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt that women can serve on the front lines as infantry soldiers. She could ride, she could shoot, she was competent as a nurse, so she was actually quite good to have on hand if the men got wounded because she could bind them up. She was no, no mascot. She loved um, military life, she loved fighting. She saw it rather as sport, I think, in a certain way. In late September, the Bulgarian defences in these mountains collapsed. Bulgaria asked for an armistice, the first of Germany's allies, to sue for peace. The First World War had begun in the Balkans. The beginning of the end came here too. Private John Fulton came from my home village in rural Scotland. As a child, I might have known him in his old age. Instead, I read his name on the local war memorial. He died in that last September push into the mountains, one of 12,000 British men who never made it home from this unremembered front. Alan Little, BBC News, Northern Greece.